The grafting of ornamental plants allows for the propagation of desirable plant varieties. Using this technique, growers can replicate a unique foliage or introduce disease-resistant roots to plants vulnerable to soil-borne pathogens. There are many grafting techniques. This video will discuss the side veneer graft. For this procedure, you'll need pruners, a grafting knife, a sharpening stone, parafilm or budding tape, rubber bands, your scion wood with a desired trait, a rootstock of roughly the same caliper, and alcohol for sanitization. Comfort is the key element to a successful grafting session. Find a comfortable chair and arrange all of your needed materials so they are easily reached. Make sure your knife is sharp. A sharp knife will make cutting the wood clean and easy. Also, remember to periodically wash your blade with alcohol. This procedure presents a large opportunity for infection. Now it's time to prepare your scion wood. Scion wood should be collected no more than two to three days in advance. Scion wood should also be from terminal growth. This gives you a single, straight leader. To prepare for your cut, remove buds from the lower few inches of your scion wood. It's now time to make your first cut. A downward slice is made into the rootstock peeling roughly one inch of bark away from the stem. This exposes the cambium, allowing a union with the scion wood. Support the rootstock firmly when making this cut. While everyone develops their own technique, a good method is to support the stem with three fingers while using your thumb to help guide your knife. When grafting deciduous plants, the rootstock is cut away just above the incision. With evergreen plants, this cut is not made until the graft is healed. To make your scion wood cuts, hold the scion wood firmly with one hand, supporting it with your thumbs. Holding your knife backwards, cut into your scion wood with an outward pulling motion. Then, turn the scion wood over and repeat this cut. The resulting wedge-shaped end is inserted into the slice made into the rootstock. To hold the scion wood in place, a rubber band is wrapped around the graft union. Starting at the top of the graft, spiral down until the entire graft union is covered. The rubber band should be firm, but not so tight as to cause girdling injury. This technique takes time to master. With practice, individual fingers can be used to hold the rubber band at different points. At the bottom of the graft, loop the rubber band under itself to create a simple knot, then cut off any excess. The graft is then wrapped firmly with parafilm or budding tape. After grafting, the plants are placed in the callusing system. This is an example of a hot water callusing system. This system warms the graft union to 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit while keeping the roots and buds cool. This prevents the plant from growing before the graft is fully healed, while also increasing the likelihood that the graft will be successful. This video has been part of the University of Kentucky Nursery Crops web series. For more information on the topics discussed, please contact your county extension office.